All right, guys, this is going to be another quick video. I'm going to show you guys how to, um, this is going to be how to flash and install Mashup V6. Um, <clears throat> this is supposed to make CM9 Alpha 4 just run smoother, have less crashes and problems uh, once you get it installed. So first direction you got to do is go into settings and turn off your Wi-Fi. When you flash this, Wi-Fi must be off. Okay, so we got the Wi-Fi off. Um, next thing we want to do is uh, go to our files here, our app drawer, and scroll over to um, System Recovery. And go ahead and go through that process again of installing System Recovery. Say OK. Plug your, uh, your jack in. We'll do that. And then Reboot Recovery. Well, let this thing reboot here and it should reboot back back into uh, recovery. Once in recovery, um, what we got to do is we got to go in and we got to wipe cache and dovet cache. Get those two wiped and then uh, flash the mashup uh, zip. So let's give it a second here. I okay, I love the process of waiting for it. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna go to install zip from, actually no wait, first we're gonna go to wipe, wipe edge partition. So we're gonna hit that one, select it, go down to yes and select it. All right, uh, etches, our cache is wiped. Um, go to then next you're gonna go to the bottom and go to advanced select that one with the power button go down to wipe Delvic cache and select that with the power button and then scroll down to yes wipe Delvic cache select that all right so now we're fully wiped there on those things we're gonna go down to the bottom and go back and then now we can go to install zip from SD card and select it and then we're going to scroll to choose zip from SD card, select that. And then I put my files in my CM9 file. That's where my mashup zip is. And then I'm looking for, um, I have two mashups here. I have um, DX2, or yeah, X2 mashup CM9 version 1. And then I have X2 stock CM9 zip. So I'm going to... I'm going to flash the uh, CM9 V1 zip, but if I want to restore back to stock settings, I can go back in here and I can flash the stock back, and then we're back to where we were. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, flash this, and then we're going to go down to yes, install, and flash it. Alright, there you go. It's been mashed up. So then all we got to do from here is go back, reboot system now. And then when we're rebooting, I like to unplug. And uh, once we boot up, it should uh, just run smoother, faster. It's supposed to, um, sometimes you're getting crashes um, when you're scrolling screens and stuff and reboots and freezes. It's just supposed to smooth all that out and make it run a lot better. Um, the other thing that is a good tip for on here is sometimes you're going to get crashes and freezes from screen rotation when you rotate the phone, you know, like this. Um, you'll get some freezes and then crashes on Alpha 4. Um, so basically, what I like to do is just turn that feature off, the auto rotation, and just leave it at, you know, at, uh, you know, basically portrait mode. Um, and set it to there as default. If you want to rotate it, the apps will still rotate it if they're, if they're automatically set to rotate the screen, which is fine. But it just won't rotate if you're just using it on the main, the main launcher screen. Um, so also that helps with freezes and crashes on CM, uh, CM9 Alpha 4. Now, Alpha 5, when it gets released, hopefully, um, all right, it's doing some initialization here. Alpha, alpha 5, when it gets released, um, this is supposed to be included in the Alpha, in alpha 5 for, from, from, drag, from Dragon Killer. So uh, when that happens, you won't have to flash this. But for right now, for Alpha 4, this is the best thing to do, get some stability out of a uh, CM9 Alpha 4 for the Droid X2.
So once this process is done, it should all boot up uh, normal and we'll be good to go. When you pause it, we'll come back to it so you can see it. All right, guys, we are booted back up. Um, so I've returned Wi-Fi back on and um, you're just supposed to make this thing run smoother. Uh, I have a setting for the screen rotation right up here that I was talking about and I can toggle that and I can then I can rotate screen or I can toggle it and I can stay in, in a, you know portrait mode so those are options I've got in here um, which work really good for me so this is just supposed to smooth it up and make it run better it's also supposed to increase your uh, 3G speed and your Wi-Fi um, just to make those those uh, work better for you so that's pretty much it that's how you would install um, CM9 mashup and uh, I will go ahead and I'll put links to the stock and the uh, version 1 mashup uh, zips along with a link to uh, XDA developers webpage on how to do this. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.